If you are looking for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Speaker Labs or if you want to discover all the amazing new updates that Speaker 1.0 has in store for us, this is the right video for you. So recently, there has been massive improvements in the quality of videos generated by Pika 1.0 compared to the better version. And in my opinion, I think it's the best AI video generator out there and it's absolutely free for you to use, which is pretty awesome for the quality that you get. And I'm super excited to show you all the amazing features it has for us. So one great feature about this Pika Labs is that you can now make really high quality videos using just basic prompts. As you can see, I generated this video of a lion using the text to video feature. And for this particular video of a man playing a guitar, I actually used an image prompt for this. And the best part is, there is a new feature that allows you to increase the video duration. So most of the time, all the videos come in 3 seconds, but you can actually increase the video duration by adding extra 4 seconds, making it 7 seconds. And I'm going to show you all of this in this particular video. Now, the first step is for you to sign in. So simply go to pika.at forward slash login, and then you can actually sign in with your Google account or with your Discord account. So since I already have a Discord account, I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with my Discord account. Once you sign in, it will take you to this page. Now you can see that there is the explore page and also my library. Now I will recommend you go through these video prompts that are available right here. So you can just get a feel on how to actually give it the right prompt. Then when you click on my library, these are basically what you've actually generated on this website. So it kind of stores all your work on this section. So you can see right here, I've actually been playing around with this particular tool and that's why you're seeing all these videos that I've generated right here. But if you're just new on this particular website, this page is going to be blank. Then as you start generating videos, it will now start appearing on this particular page. Now look at the top right corner. You can see there is a grid view and also the horizontal view. I would recommend you go with the grid view so you can easily see all the videos you are generating. So let's start creating our video. If you look at the bottom right here, you will see describe your story. So this is basically where you put in your prompt. And as you can see, there are different options that are available right here. You have the video option. So basically, when you click on this icon right here, you will see that you can actually change the aspect ratio. And you can see that it has pretty much all the aspect ratio that are used in various, you know, social media platforms. You can see 16 by 9. You can see this one 9 by 16. And then the frames per second, which is actually 24. And is the maximum. And you can even decide to reduce it or just leave it at the maximum. I will leave it at 24, which is actually the default setting. Now, if you click on this, this camera icon right here is the motion control. You can see that this is the camera control and if you look at it, you can see that it's pretty much self-explanatory. You can see the pan, the tilt, rotate and zoom and you can actually see the strength of motion and you have the maximum as 4. Depending on what you actually want, if you want the motion to be faster, you can actually increase it or if you want it to be slower or you want it to just be normal, you can just decrease it. I like to leave it at the default setting which is actually 1. Now you have the parameters, so simply click on this icon right here. And you can see that you can put in a negative prompt. You can see they gave you an example, ugly, bad, terrible. You can even put deform, distort, warp, blurry. Like you can just add any negative prompt. You don't want them to put in your video. And then you have the seed. And then you can actually increase the consistency with the text. So if you want the video they will generate for you to be very much similar to what you've described in your text, then you can actually increase the consistency. You can see that 25 is the maximum. Or if you don't want it to be exactly what you have described in your text, then you can actually decrease Increase it. So basically, I'm just going to leave it at the default setting. Now, let's go ahead and start creating our videos. First of all, we are going to give it a prompt. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a simple prompt. So I will say a lion moving very fiercely through the forest. And I will go ahead and click on this send button right here. And then it will display this thumbnail. And you can see that the video has started generating. And it will just take a few minutes for it to generate. It doesn't take time. Once they have finished generating the video, simply go ahead and click on this button right here to watch the full video. This video is pretty awesome. As you can see, this is a really high quality video it has generated for us. You can see it has so much dynamic motion and the frames are really consistent without any flickering. And this lion actually looks real and you will notice that the animation looks much sharper and cleaner. So you can just simply click on this download button to download it. Or if you don't like what it has generated for you and you want to kind of delete the video, just click on this delete button right here to delete it. So I'm just going to click on this X here to just exit this particular page. So let's say maybe you don't like what it has generated for you and you want it to regenerate another one for you just click on this retry button right here and it will regenerate another one for you so let me just click on it so you can see how it looks you can see that it brought up another thumbnail 
thumbnail trying to regenerate another video so you can see that it has regenerated another one for us but personally i prefer the first one so let's say maybe you've actually told it to regenerate another one for you and you still don't like what it has generated for you what you are simply going to do is to click on this reprompt it's going to bring up the prompt for you and then you can just add additional prompt to it so that it can give you something better so that is why i personally love this feature now another very important feature i want to show you is this edit button so if you notice once i clicked on this edit button you can see that two other buttons came up here the first one is modify region and the second button is expand canvas now when i click on this modify region if you look at this guy right here you can see this rectangular box right here which you can actually move around and then you can reduce the size or expand it so let's say maybe you want to add the sunglasses on this guy what you're simply going to do is this you're going to reduce the size of this rectangular box and then you're going to bring it over his head right close to the eyes then you can just go ahead and add sunglasses then i'll hit send let me just minimize it. now you can see that it has added the glasses for us and this is pretty awesome isn't it you can click here to upscale the video now we can see that it has upscaled the video so if you compare the two you will notice that the upscaled video is actually sharper and more clearer let me now show you how to use the expand canvas feature so let's go ahead and use this video so i'm going to click on edit and then i'm going to come over here and then i'll select expand canvas so what this basically does is that it helps you to change the aspect ratio of the video and this is one of the best feature picker has you can see that you can change the video to different aspect ratio so let me go ahead and select 9 by 16 which is one of the commonest aspect ratio for most of the popular social media platforms i will simply describe the video so i just simply said a man moving towards the space as in a science fiction his back is facing the camera then i'll go ahead and add my negative prompt so you can see what i used here as my negative prompt so why i actually added this negative prompt is because i noticed that sometimes when you want to change the aspect ratio of a video the video actually deforms so that is why i had to add my negative prompt to stop the video from deforming now i will simply click on send as you can see it has finished generating the video for us let's go ahead and take a look i think this is pretty awesome and i really love the results though pika labs actually generates a fairly good video when you just give it a text prompt but i highly recommend you give it a reference image because i noticed that once you give it a reference image it actually produces more quality video so how do you actually do that look at this place at the bottom right here you will see image of video so you can actually give it an image prompt for you to generate a video for you or you can actually give it a video and then ask it to generate another video for you right so just click on it i'm just going to go ahead and select this particular image right here you probably don't need to describe your image once you just give it the image prompt just go ahead and click on send and Pika Lab will automatically generate the video for you based on the image prompt you've given it. So I'm just going to click on send right here. So you can see that it has generated the video for us. Now let's take a look at the video it has generated for us based on the image prompt you gave it. If you look at this place, you will notice that the video duration is only 3 seconds. You can actually increase the video duration by 4 seconds. So once you click on this add 4 seconds and you can see it right here, you can just go ahead and send the prompt for you to generate another one making it a total of seven seconds but first what i would like you to do is this i would like you to click on these parameters right here and then give it a negative prompt the reason why i want you to give it a negative prompt is that sometimes if you don't give it any negative prompt and you try to increase the duration of the video you will notice that once the three seconds have elapsed the remaining four seconds will not be clear to be blurry and it may even have a form of deformity so let me go ahead and add my negative prompt as you can see these are the negative prompts are add them so you can also see the control for seed which is the randomness so if you generate like two videos using the exact same seed the video will be the same which is kind of useful for debugging specific prompt keywords there's also the consistency with the text parameter so the higher this value is the closer the video will follow the prompt so if you want them to generate a video that is very much closely related to your text prompt just make sure that you increase the consistency with the text so i will just leave it at the default setting what i'm going to do do right now is this i'm going to click on this send button and then wait for it to generate another video that has a longer duration so you can see right here this is exactly what i did on this video if you look at this video right here you can see that this one is three seconds long but if you look at this one you will notice that it's seven seconds and you can see it right here added four seconds making it seven seconds so let me go ahead and add another image let's go with this one another thing you can do is to set the camera control the best thing about this is that you can actually select any one you want so you can select pan and then you select 
select rotate and then you still select zoom and you can even select the still so you can just select as much control as you want depending on what you want to achieve with your video so let me just remove this one let me remove this one and leave this too so depending on how fast or how slow you want the motion to be you can just simply increase or decrease the strength of the motion so you can see that four is actually the maximum so if you want to increase the strength of the motion you can just simply slide this button right here to four or if you want to decrease it you can just slide this this way but i'm going to leave it at the default setting which is actually one so once you're done with your camera setting the next thing you're going to do is to just hit send and it will just generate another video for you another cool thing about pika is that you can actually use video prompts so basically what you're going to do is this you're going to come over here and you're going to click on image of video so let's go ahead and select that video now the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to describe the video now let's add the negative prompt and then i'll click on send one more thing you can click on this share button and share it with your friends on twitter or on facebook you can actually go ahead and copy the link and share with your friends and when you click on this information icon right here it can actually give you all the information about this particular video and that's one thing i love about this particular website it will just give you all the parameters so even if you want to reprompt it you no longer have to put everything again if you found this video useful then you can consider clicking on the video on the screen right now to discover another ai video generator and if you found this video helpful kindly hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this and i will see you in the next video